As the campaign to save the historic Willow Grove estate in the heart of Parramatta ramps up, tonight we can show you what the state government didn't wa want us to film. Inside the 19th century building, and as you're about to see, while some rooms are run down, much of it can be saved. Inside the piece of Parramatta set to be bulldozed for the Powerhouse Museum, from intricate ceiling details to a grand entranceway, Holes and all, this is what lies beyond the locked gate of Willow Grove. A gate briefly opened today as MPs and activists were granted a tour as part of a parliamentary inquiry. Our camera, however, wasn't welcome. The only reason the government locks out the media is because they don't want you to see what's behind those locked gates. The lockout even stopping the chair of the inquiry from holding a press conference on the grass. There's no media or... Well, we, got to, we are going to do the media event here in the front of this street, um, on the side, not on the street. There's no media or other guests well, what's on the, the Well, do you want us to walk away now, do you? If you want to change the rules, we'll have to reschedule the visit. For us to get in here, we had to agree to the fact that we wouldn't allow the media on the property. The compromise, an embarrassing look. You having to do the media conference through a locked gate is from a PR point of view a thousand times worse for Create New South Wales. If you were allowed inside and you saw this historic building, you would want to preserve it. We are being censored left, right and centre. A director from the government agency later claimed the issue is COVID restrictions. We had to take the committee around three at a time because okay. of the room capacity. So we just need to know ahead of time so we can organise that. If we, if we organised something, yeah. we could possibly come in? Yes, definitely. Uh, if you can get the list and we need to be able to measure up numbers and so on. Only an hour later, though, a spokesperson for Create New South Wales told me a visit on site today simply couldn't be facilitated and we were welcome to apply to have one in the future. An application we lodged straight away. Lachlan Kennedy for 10 News First.